Hello people of the earth and welcome back to Quick Safe TV. My name is Mike and today we're going to start our very own series of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. I do not know how long it will take, but I promise you this. You know, you know I'm not consistent with my content, right? Let, let's, 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 let's get it out of the way. We already know it, right? But we will finish this no matter what happens. Well, we're not gonna save scum, we're not gonna load the game, we're gonna play essentially on a Commander Iron Man mod with uh, a whole bunch of customization mods, but in terms of gameplay, there's literally nothing that has been changed, nothing that has been touched. It is the original game, and when we play this game, I will try as hard as I can to talk about why and why not I do certain things. So if you're interested in learning more about XCOM 2, War of the Chosen, how to play it, you're having struggles or whatever, you're not, you're not always sure what you're doing or why you're doing that, I will try to help you every step of the way. So if you watch this series, you will be able to, able to learn a couple of things. Now before I fucking um, write a book over here, let me just set up the timer for 57 minutes. We will be aiming for one hour episodes with this series. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's just set up all this. We don't care about any of this. Yeah, we just leave it at random. We turn off tutorial. Yes, yes, yes. We will disable Iron Man because if anything goes wrong, I'm fucked and I cannot restore the save file. Every time I play on Iron Man, like if I set up the difficulty to Iron Man, every time the game blows up in my face. So I simply cannot afford to do that. Integrate the content. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you don't integrate the content, the game actually becomes a little easier. If you play like this, for example, and like this, the game is significantly easier. So don't let anyone tell you otherwise. So we're gonna play like this. And hopefully I don't wipe on the first mission because that would be awkward. Seeing this? Way too much security, even for Advent. That's no ordinary gene therapy clinic. They were telling the truth. Or they're leading us into a trap. A really obvious trap. We'd need an army to march in there right now. I've got a better idea. Outrider, this is central. Go. Mistakes are bound to happen. It wasn't our fault. Please. There's no need for any of this. I will do what you ask of me. I just need additional time. Did you say something? Exist. Outrider to Avenger, I have visual confirmation. Are you sure? Reapers are always sure. I'll take your word for it. Cover your tracks and get the hell out of there. They can't know we were here. Yet. Understood. Now the real war begins. of the Advent Coalition. In keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. 
Violence again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Perfect. The Advent Administration reminds you to report all suspicious activity. Approaching position. You were right. Definitely got their hands full today. Stay focused. Prep gate pressure. 60 seconds. Your turn. We're back. Okay, so I think I'll have to figure something out for the volume. Uh, Archivet's here telling me the volume is shit. I'll have to figure it out afterwards. But we already started. If the game does not crash right now, this goes to YouTube, make no mistake. Because, no thanks. I'm not sitting through this thing again. <laughs> I'm sitting here like, my balls are itching. I'm sitting like, oh man, I want to play the fucking game, dude. But I also have to shut the fuck up and sit out the fucking cinematic. So, uh, 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 uh. I also don't want to die from boredom during this let's play thing. So, alright. Uh, another thing I did not mention is uh, okay, gate crasher, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Tijuana, uh, is it Mexico? I'm not sure. We'll see. North America again. Shit. I mean, I don't mind. I guess it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's alright. Okay, so uh, in the mission gate. Cra okay, I do I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I have everything set up correct. Okay, so what I wanted to mention is this: if you would like to be part of the team. Uh, um, uh, basically my team while playing the game, right? We already have a whole bunch of people who are watching the channel on Twitch, right? We, this is being recorded on Twitch. We have Fadera, we have Naran, we have... Uh, this is just a character, and we have um, uh, Nexi. All of these are viewers, so if you would like to be part of this, right? You can, you can easily become part of it. All you have to do is leave a comment under this video, and if you have any specific preferences, I will make sure to add you as, you know, as your preferred character. And, uh, but if there's no slots, obviously I will not, right? So, uh, rush! <laughs> We're gonna record three videos in a bunch right now, and after that we'll see how it goes. They will, this will go, like, uh, up once a day, so um, you have plenty of time to be included, because this is not a quick game to beat. I actually don't want to approach this cliff. So yeah, if you want to be part of the team, leave a comment, tell me what specifically you would like to be, and I'll see if I can make this happen. I think everything works... Yeah, 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 everything works fine, uh-huh. I removed everything mod, every mod successfully, um, which is really important. Uh -huh. oh, the only things we have are customization mods, uh, just pretty fine mods, you know, everything else should be... Yeah, draw distance medium, otherwise my computer will literally explode. Yeah, 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 cool, 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 I think we're in good shape, I think we're in good shape. Uh, I've played, have bad volume levels, how the fuck is time skips? A lot of frame skips. Uh, let me just take a look if... Save and exit, yes. Let me take a look if... Oh, yeah, the start of the mission, no one cares, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, it's okay, it's expensive. Yeah, no drop frames, it's good. Uh, ah, Twitch problems, okay, 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 okay. 
Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, at the start of the mission, it's to be expected because the game is loading. All right, so what we want to do here, essentially, let's just start playing the game, you know, because I'm going to die. Uh, what we want to start doing here is we want to get to the edge, but we want to get to the edge, like, very careful-like. Uh, because it's very, yeah, that's why we wanted to be careful. Um, no, let me explain why I did it the way I did, and let's see if we actually, we didn't pop it. Look at this. If I would move my characters to the edge, and because the line of sight, the way it works is, you cannot see over the edge, you know, if there is a straight wall in front of you, you can easily be trapped in this, so if I would move them up here, I would instantly pop the pawn. When you're trying to preserve stealth, it is very important to avoid sharp corners and avoid the ledges, you know. Um, being on high ground is generally an advantage, but not when you're just one level above. One level above doesn't do dig to you, so it's not super useful. Yeah, it's actually two levels above, at least it tells me so. Uh, and again, jumping down here is kind of dangerous. We don't know how far away they see and stuff. So we're gonna carefully, clever-like, reposition ourselves to here. I can cover it. And make sure... We do not die like idiots, because we want to be the ones to start the fight, not let the enemy start the fight. We're gonna skip one turn and see what happens next. And the reason it's important is because it gives you a whole bunch of advantages when you start it off like this. Starting enemies shouldn't have any grenades, so what we're going to do is this. We want to make sure that everyone has vision on the enemy, and then we want to open up on them. Uh, opening up on them from a, from an ambush position is actually pretty good right here. Uh, whomever is remaining uh, next, you will be able to clean up. So let's put you on Overwatch. Let's put you on Overwatch. And I want you to open up. I want the Templar to sit and do nothing for now. And once this starts, once the chaos of battle... Okay, fantastic. Once the chaos of battle starts, we'll figure out what else we can do. If I can kill two of them, we're in excellent shape. If less, not so much. Oh, and they're also moving towards us. This is so good for us. Connection, connection, okay, one down, two down, and I think this one can be liquidated with our Templar. What I want to do is want to move up here and see first what I see after. I don't see anything, fantastic. So now I finish him off with a melee attack. Templars cannot miss in melee, which makes them extremely powerful very early on, but depending on the difficulty setting, specifically when you play it on Legendary, you have to be very careful about the way you use your Templars, otherwise you will get them in the most terrible of situations. Hit the end button to make sure we're good to go. Uh, let, let me take a look at that. Okay, so the, the father is saying, you know what triggers me? YouTube recordings. Any kind. Just ruffles my jimmies. Huh? I'm not sure I understand you, brother. In, in what way? Okay. Uh, so, everything seems to be working. I'm gonna save the game. As a matter of what the fuck is all this? None of this should be here. Uh, did I not clean up the saves? Well, I'll see later. That doesn't really matter, I guess. Okay, so now we want to slowly move up, but we don't necessarily want to pop everything up. And um, uh, one of the priorities that we want to stick to is uh, stay in high cover or have a high ground advantage. Having high cover allows us to be a little bit more brazen in the way we move up because like in this situation, take a look at the abundance of the high cover. Notice this. It's very important because it allows us to it allows us okay. to march forward without the risk of being annihilated uh, in, uh, um, in 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 uh, like if the enemy pops up right okay. now, we're in excellent shape. Look at this. Everyone is in high cover. The enemy is generally in this direction, somewhere on this side. So this is what we're expecting. Um, and the reason we don't want to move up too aggressively is because we we don't know how they're going to move up, you know, how they're going to position themselves. Okay, there you go. So you want to make sure that you want to make sure that you don't spend too many action points as you, as you advance. Otherwise, oh my, that's so bad for us. That's actually abhorrent for us. Um, holy, that's so bad. Let me figure out if there's a way I can remedy this. I probably cannot. I would like to throw a Templar at them, but I physically cannot. It's just too far away. Okay, so they're positioned like this. We know approximately how far they can move, so we have to play around this. This is actually a very bad situation for us to be in. Not impossible, but pretty bad. We could put a Templar up here and just try to take a couple of pot shots. I don't think it's going to hurt. We also have... Yeah, we have Vault from the start. We could use Vault, which cannot miss. Uh, using Vault would be just such a good thing for us. Yeah, it cannot miss, but it's not necessarily going to kill anyone. Uh-huh. Okay. So, 
there's two ways to handle this, but the reason I'm not even considering moving backwards is because um, Abukian is stuck there. Stella is stuck there, and that means that we cannot effectively move back. If that was an opportunity, I would definitely consider it right now, because it's just a, such a terrible way for us to open uh, the battle. But it's alright. So let's move everyone up. And once we are in a closer formation to the enemy, like what right now, like we have a very good fire line. We have a whole bunch of people set up, so they cannot really move. They cannot flank us easily. Like, the, the only person they can flank is Fadera and flank how? I mean, flank to low cover. And the one person that is kind of in danger is uh, Nexi. But it's not a problem, again, because we can kind of play around this. And... Okay, so officer... That's a very low percentage. Yeah, there's gonna be a bunch of shit shots. If we could destroy his cover, though... If we could destroy his cover, how much would it actually do for us? Not a lot, I imagine. Yeah, I can just be like dicking around here and just sitting and waiting for a better shot, but I think we have to take our chances and see how lucky we get. Okay, not very lucky. What? You sure? Fantastic. Um, I mean, we could. Yeah, if she doesn't see him. We could absolutely take a couple of people down. And we need to. Because, I mean, we, we our characters are not particularly strong yet. We have to give them uh, an edge as much as we can. Yeah, I don't want you to fire. I want you to go on Overwatch. And I want you to try to finish this guy off. I mean, there are several ways to do this. We can, like, there's 22 worlds in which that shot does not connect. And if it doesn't connect, we're fucked. Because, I mean, he's as effective as he was before. I'm not going to take any chances. I'm just going to go with it and see how it goes. That's minus one. Uh, we have one guy on Overwatch. Uh, it's better than nothing. Not perfect. He, he marks the target. So now she's effectively in low cover, which is fine. Unless two shots connect and she dies. That's great. I mean, it happens. I don't think it was a bad play for me to make anyway. So it's all right. But the problem here is... Um, we are now in a pretty shitty situation in terms of uh, how we can tackle uh, these enemies here. He's on Overwatch, which means that if if I move up recklessly, he's just gonna kill me, or he's gonna take a pot shot at least. Well, I mean, pot shot, not really a pot shot. It's a it's a pretty high um, chance to hit at this situation unless we sprint. Sprinting is not sprinting is not an option. Using a grenade is not an option. That's very 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 unfortunate. We could do something like this, but it is not going to kill him. Uh, we could also uh, make Nexi charge, and I think it is an acceptable risk. Um, I think I'm just gonna go with this. Charging at the enemy like this reduces the chance to be hit uh, to 60% of the original value. So it should be something along the lines, um, he has a base chance to hit of 75 or 65%, uh, further decreased by 40%, by, or rather divided by 100 multiplied by 60. So. When we, we drop all of these formulas down, what ends up happening is like, okay, it's it's not as high a chance as it would be, alternatively. Okay, let's take a look at how we can advance this uh, on, on his position. To travel. We can try to spam his with, him with bullets, but there's no situation, realistically, where all of these shots connect. So, uh, the better way to handle this, in my opinion, is to... fuck. For starters, to keep our Templar alive, I think this is fine position. Is going on Overwatch, I think, is, is a better... Really uh, this is okay, though. This should. But we're Come gonna on. go on Overwatch and see what's gonna happen next. Okay, he did not connect the shot. That's really good. That Means sure he's pretty much done the next turn. So we're gonna keep advancing okay. on his position and attack him as hard as we can with everything we've got. <laughs> no, Fader, you're fine. You're still alive. I'm, I'm obviously not trying to lose anyone, but sometimes it becomes inevitable. Want to take a look if everyone is leveled up? Because leveling up it's, it, the Templar is exciting and all, but I would prefer having kills on my rookies. Actually, I would prefer to kill, have this kill on the Templar. Yeah, let's finish him off. We lost one rookie. That's unfortunate, but sometimes it happens. It has been fairly unlucky. We got an autoloader. Autoload is alright. Um, there are situations where it's really good. At the start, I mean. I would prefer to have stock here, but autoloader is great too. Yeah, we got the mission done. I lost one guy, but it's whatever. 
Status confirmed. Squad is clear. Detonating. Nice. I don't necessarily think my decisions have been wrong uh, in this particular mission. It's just the shot that uh, <laughs> had a fairly chance of uh, connecting, connected, and that was that was the reason for horror that happened. It was a um, reduced chance to hit, and uh, it rolled at the top of damage, which is kind of unfortunate, but you know it happens. At least it's not one of the viewers. At least it's my character, so who cares? God damn, man. A small bump on the path of salvation the elders have set forth for us. Minfadera remarks, I have heard you lose people easily in this game, and mainly at the start. Yeah, you're 100% correct. Um, the start and mid-game, uh, the, the early game and mid-game are the hardest in XCOM 2, by far. Um, and it's it, it really holds true in World of the Chosen as well. It's, it's the time when you're not particularly strong, you don't have particularly powerful characters. And... Uh, that's when, like, it's very easy to just lose a couple of people, which really sucks. Something's fucked up with your face. I'm not editing this. Just no, 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 no thanks. While I was uh, reshuffling my mods back to make the game work, I think I broke a couple of things. We'll take a look at what I broke. To the research labs. I didn't broke the important shit. There you are. Don't, don't panic. He was panicking, he thought I, you know, threw him out from the A-team, baby. No, you're going on the next mission and you're gonna die. Maybe. I mean, I'm not hoping for that, but whatever. Naren is gonna be a support. Um, Let me just... Yeah, I think you're fine. Yeah, I think you're fine. You're fine. You're doing all right. No, you're fine. Nothing's wrong with your fucking face. Something's wrong with my fucking eyes. It was just some kind of weird light there. Don't be a sniper. Oh just my like god, sounds, you're a sniper. I want to die. Enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme so, also some of you who don't play the game a lot, right, will be like, Mike, why don't you like snipers, you piece of shit? Snipers are the best. Okay. Um, um, because snipers are weak at the start. And that's really all there is to it. That's the only reason I dislike them. My people understand them. There you go. So let's go. Oh my god. From what I've heard, the resistance has already seen a boost in their recruitment. This is such a good role. Arrival got around. They've needed a leader just as much as we have. All right. Now they'll be expecting us. Is he stressed out a little bit? He'll be fine. Not that I'm worried. Except for their high willpower for no reason. Things are just starting to get interesting. Yeah, all right. Cool. Commander to the research labs. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power, yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. There you go, baby. Let's take a look at what we can research here. Archivet is kind of a hero in the stream. Uh, you YouTube people don't see it, right? But this the anarchy is happening here right now. Live. It's bizarre. <laughs> okay. Reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from your old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. <laughs> Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer, at your service. You are probably expecting to see my father. 
in all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but in here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. All the stuff. Uh, the only one guy we have left to meet is Central. We'll do it in just a moment. So uh, I probably should talk about a little bit about what we're researching. I chose the modular weapons. There's many ways to go, but I would like to research modular weapons right now because it would allow me to equip the new stuff on my rifles, which will make them less useless than they are currently. They, than they currently are. Is of the we have a whole bunch of people. Yeah, we're fine. We don't need to hire anyone, so we're fine in this department. We can also build, start building our first facility, and it's very important. I'm going to go with laboratory. I'm a huge fan of laboratory. And I explained in excruciating detail why. But in two words, it allows you to speed up your researches significantly and allows you to have more breakthroughs, which is super, super important. Speeding up the research is actually not as important than this is, but... Let's go see what's happening on the bridge. Commander, good to see you on your feet again. Welcome to the bridge, the nerve center of our operation. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Government, communications, industry. Not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. We got through all of this. Hopefully it's not too terrible in the recording, but we'll see. Um, and if it is, I'll have to figure out how can I fix the volume. At least during the cinematics. Radiant teachers. My followers seek balance with the psionic forces that flow through the earth and all its No, it's sure I'm a huge fan of that. We channel this energy. Right. So we're starting in the New Mexico, and that means that highly likely U.S. will be available to us, but not the South America, which kind of sucks because South America is such a juicy piece to grab. Um, it's just two regions; it's such an easy um, uh, place to. But Europe will be open to us, likely, and North. Um, I mean, Asia will be open to us. Okay, so we're gonna go to the supplies. This is not the perfect one. The perfect one you want at the start is something along the lines of an engineer. Actually, no, the engineer is the perfect one. Engineer, scientists, things like this. Things like this are really, really helpful. I think mods are working and the game didn't blow up, so we're good to go. Nice, we got it done. Huh. Yeah, it unlocks us the path to magnetic weapons, but 28 days is just not something we can commit to. Um, everything else is not as important, so let's stick to the alien biotech. But speaking of uh, supplies, supplies are actually not as bad uh, because we can get a flashbang with it. Really, really useful and important uh, at the start of the game to be able to grab a couple of flashbangs. I'll just, you know, let you pause it if you really want to read this. Oh my god, it's fantastic, an engineer. But we're going to be interrupted by a mission, which is totally fine. But having an engineer from this thing is super, super useful. And the next mission should be a scientist or an engineer. There's a, a little bit of structure to the first missions available to you. An engineer. This is a really good start for us. Sabotage transmitter. We have to win this. No matter what happens, we have to win this mission. Having this engineer will be pivotal in our uh, transition to the mid-game um, in this particular particular playthrough because otherwise we're just gonna be stuck forever and it really sucks it's really not something you want to be happening to you so we want to send our best people unfortunately that means that we cannot send Sara uh, we cannot send, uh, send Fadera there because it's just not gonna work well we cannot we cannot afford to take a sniper at this particular juncture uh, so much so that I would actually prefer having a rookie especially the type of mission we're dealing with Sabotage and transmitter, uh, transmit, uh, transmitter. <coughs> excuse me, oh fuck, will uh, force us to move up significantly. 
and moving up will require us to have uh, capacity to move forward. In other words, we need classes who can stay mobile without sitting on their ass for too long. Uh, we cannot actually... Yeah, we can build a couple of items, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to get a, one flashbang. We don't actually want anything else. Yeah, we're okay with that. So, uh, keep the grenade. I want the specialist to have the flashbang if possible, and I want you to have another rifle. Naran will have an AUG. Uh, this is only visual, right? As you can see, the same stats as of the original weapons. This is only visual to make it a little bit more appealing and interesting. It, it is very, very much so appealing to me. So, uh, I mean, I was like, okay, do I remove them? Do I not remove them? And obviously they're like, they are not the way they are in the original game, but they look so fucking cool. So I was like, yeah, why should I? Why should I not do it? It's just such an important aspect of the game. Being able to customize shit and... Cool. Okay, we have everyone equipped with different weapons. Uh, we can actually... Yeah, we don't want to use our... Um, I'm pretty sure we don't want to use this one. Yeah. Assault rifles are... Yeah, we don't want to use the autoloader because we want to use it on something that actually requires it. Basically, any special weapons. We're talking shotguns, sniper rifles, and... Uh, um, light machine guns are benefiting more from it than the common assault rifle. And the reason they do is because... Oh, wow, really? That's so good. What about Fadera? Who can you... Oh, we cannot, actually. Yeah. It would be so good if we could. Oh, man, that sucks dick. What about Senfom? Cool. Okay, so Malika is going on a mission instead. Sorry, Archivet, you're out. <laughs> we want to make sure that we try to combine our people as much as we can because by doing that we unlock the, the potential to get the bond of level 1 as early as possible. This is going to be our bond. Uh, Nexi and Neron with El Sali and Sanfo. This is going to be our bonds, and it's going to work out in our favor because um, this will make the game significantly easier. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a particularly great team, like having an assault here, or rather a ranger, would be so, so important, so useful, but what can you do? No, Archivet. Archivet says it's so hard to push yourself to start shit talking when you start streaming. It's like, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to cover all the bases, you know what I mean? It, it's not that I'm like, you know, it's just, I'm a little... Yeah, sorry for that. I'm, we'll find a place for you, there will definitely be one. Especially, it, it also really depends on uh, what Chosen we're gonna be fighting at the start. If we're lucky enough, and if we start fighting with the Hunter, we will absolutely find a place for you. But the way it works, uh, uh, he said, uh, way to break my heart. <laughs> so, um, because I didn't take him on the mission, because he's a sniper, uh, a sharpshooter. Sharpshooters are exceptionally good in later stages of the game, but they're exceptionally weak at the start. So, babysitting them through this period is like, it, it's, it's a very difficult task, and it's just not something I can afford to do, because it's like this. Uh, when you, when you, when you, well, for me, the mental checklist when I want to take a sharpshooter at the start of the game on an early mission, it's like this. Okay, can I afford to take a sharpshooter? You know, do I really want to complete this mission? Is it really important? If the answer is yes, then I simply cannot afford the risk because all that will end up happening is we're going to have uh, massive casualties um, in an attempt to level up the character that will not be much help on this particular mission. This is part of the reason why one of my favorite mission types at the start of the game are the zombie missions, because they're so easy. And, uh, I mean, I, I abundantly, like, learned how easy they are once I realized the way you should play them. And once I understood that, it was just such an easy process for me to use them to level up my troops. And snipers are actually really, really, uh, sharpshooters are really, really good in these missions, because they have a pistol, and pistol is uh, one of the best weapons you can have against zombies, because you never have to reload it and stuff. It's like, it's such a, such a, such a useful tool to have. Can I move up a gra Yeah, I can. I don't want to blow our cover yet, but we have to open up. Yeah, that's so good. We have to open up now, because if we do not, something bad is going to happen. And uh, I honestly cannot afford this. Um, to, to wait for this, right? So, uh, Do I want to go everyone on Overwatch? Yes, I do, but not everyone. I want some people on Overwatch. 
you're going on Overwatch. And the reason we're keeping this high tempo, the reason it almost seems like I'm in a rush, uh, is because I am. Because we don't have a lot of time to do this. Um, if we fuck around for too long, what will end up happening is the enemy will... Uh, we will run out of time. Speaking of time, it's not visible at all. Let me move this thing a little down. Quick soldier info. Uh, go to positioning. Uh, below, 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 below. There, that's more like it. Yeah, I like that. So it's back to options. Save and quit. Yes, and, 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 and the reason we do this is because we want to make sure that we win this mission. And we won't be able to do that by sitting on our ass. That's basically why. So, we're going to rush in right now and attack the sectoid. If we're lucky, we will obliterate the sectoid. If we're not, we're lucky. It was a, you know, it was a crit. He's dead. Now we only have to kill this guy. Which we don't really kill, uh, care about because he's an easy target. We already have two people on Overwatch. There's a good chance that they... What in the name of fuck? He did not move. You are actually fucking with me. He was supposed to move, 100%. Huh. I mean, it don't matter much. But like... <laughs> uh, can I actually move up here without activating any pods? That would be a dream. Wow, that's bizarre, frankly. Get obliterated, son. I'm not sure why he didn't move. Because that makes no sense. Uh, that's one of the many bugs in the game, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, there's no good cover. We have to move. There is no good cover, but we have to move. We have to maintain the momentum that we gain from this. And if we're unable to do that, we're going to be in a... I want to see where they are at. Okay, so there's a bunch of spots where they are. I want to start destroying them. And the reason we're doing it to extend the timer, as you probably know, right, if you're not new to the game, this um, things, destroying them, expands the timer a little bit. So, now that we're spending so much time on destroying them, we cannot actually move as aggressively as I would like to. And we also have to check what we can hack from this tower. We have to see what we will get, and we have to see what is the risk. Um, because we can use it. reinforcements. Not worth it, unfortunately. We can handle reinforcements, just not right now. The reinforcements are actually an easy source of experience, but you have to make sure that you can actually handle them. Otherwise, not easy at all. And I'm kind of afraid to move up because we don't know where the enemies are going to be. There shouldn't be too many of them, but you never know. Um, I mean, this could be fine. This could be okay. Yeah, this is fine. We're going to use our machine pistol to destroy it. Fantastic. And now we'll wait what happens next. We have to maintain the momentum, but we cannot be too reckless. Because if, if we are, <laughs> what's, what will end up happening is we're going to lose everyone. And we will fail the mission. So we have to be a little smart in the way we approach uh, this particular conundrum. Mm. Let's move our asses Most up. Satisfactory, Commander. Did I fuck it up? What was the one I seen? Uh, what? It doesn't really matter. I mean, it kind of does, but... Where was it, though? We don't necessarily need to reload our guns yet. I think going on Overwatch would just be preferable at this situation. I trust in your command. Alright, we're just going Overwatch. Nice! That's so good. If we connect any shots, that's basically a freebie. If we do not, unlucky, but no one cares. Nice! Woo! -hoo! The guy's down. Fantastic. Excellent shot, Sentinel. Cool. Hey, baby, they're doing work on this bitch. Look at this guy. He doesn't have a prayer. Yeah, go back to your plan, filth. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is this. He's a gunner, 100%. There's no situation where he doesn't die. No world in which he doesn't die. So if I really wanted to, I could move up. We don't see anything, so... Uh, we're just gonna wait for a little bit to see how the situation develops. If there's gonna be anything unexpected. Because we really don't want there to be anything unexpected, frankly. 
Malika didn't get a level up. Sanfo got a level up. I would like Malika to get a level up as well. Really important. I'm not sure why I cannot see inside the building. It really frustrates me. Um, but it's not the end of the world. It would really help me a lot if I was actually able to see inside of here. But it's whatever. Any more enemies? No. Move up. Understood. This should really be see-through, but it's alright. So, I'm gonna take a shot. If she connects, she gets free experience. It slows us down, but insignificantly. Um, yes, perfect. That's one of the things that you want to do. Like, for example, if, if she would be a sniper in this scenario, right, I would just uh, give her a kill uh, to, to make sure that she advances as fast as possible to the later levels. I'm not sure I want to destroy it right now, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to reload my gun, just in case, because if the situation goes to, to, to worse, um, we have to make sure that we are ready to this development. Otherwise, we're fucked, you know? An alternative reality, I could do the following. I could use the Templar to actually finish off the officer to get a uh, to get another uh, level of focus uh, on him, on her, uh, which would give us an edge in a future combat. We really need to see them, and Sanfu is really in, in the best position to spot them. Move up like this. Yeah, they're not here, so we move up. Actually, that's kind of brazen thing for me to do. What would be much better is to actually wait up until we see more of them. <laughs> but it's alright. Hopefully I'm not going to have to pay for this. That's definitely a mistake in the way you do your turn. Uh, because ordering of your actions is actually insanely important. By having so little, so few action points, it, may, it means that every individual decision is so very important. So yeah, you have to be careful, dude. What I did there was not very smart. And that's the half the reason why I'm not moving up as aggressively as I would like to, because I know that the risk might be too great. Yeah. That's a good position, to be honest. Yeah, and we found the last group. Mm -hmm. A sectoid and a trooper. If we can liquidate a trooper, the sectoid should be an easy picking. Sort of. Sort of. Not really. <laughs> I'm actually getting ahead of myself. Um, let me take a look at the way we can resolve the situation. We don't have a good vector to assault him. But we can think of something, absolutely. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to destroy his cover to make sure that we maintain as much momentum as possible. There is a chance that he dies, but it's a very low chance, it's a 20% chance. Um, the way grenade rolls works is that there's an 80% chance to get the lower and 20% um, chance to get the higher uh, value. And try to hit him from here. If this connects, okay, it did not Rather connect. Predictable, I would say. If that would connect, that's a, you know, an uh, issue from our hair Either immediately and permanently. If it did not connect, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> oh, no connection. Relax. Sucks, but it's not abhorrent. Now what I want to do is... Yeah, now what I want to do is make sure we get as close as possible without giving direct vision to the sectoid because next he actually can one-shot him next turn and it's very important if he mind controls someone and he might he is trying to use mind control if it succeeds no he did not cool we're lucky but if it would succeed there is only one easy way to resolve this and this is by throwing the templar at the enemy Whew. all right all right we're under fire but there's nothing Nothing too uncommon. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at how we can resolve this situation. He will be out of commission for a while still. I would really like to connect some of the shots on him, if possible. Okay, we're gonna reload our guns. And try to liquidate him from here. Fantastic. This opens up our Templar to actually handle the other guy. We can essentially do the following. We run in, like monkeys. We see him. We destroy him. A focus strike of power. The reason it was important is because... Okay, so... <coughs> excuse me. Who do I have to focus on? Do I have to focus on the soldier? Or can I actually afford to go on a sector? Because, you know... It's it's alternative situations, you know? And you have to, like... You have to adapt to them on the fly. And uh, actually, not even on the fly. You have to adapt to them in advance, right? What if this happens? What do I do? What if this happens? What do I do, you know? Let's see. Got it. This particular turn, we can sit out. 
we're in position to defuse this thing. But I, what I actually would like to do is uh, to do move this. Yeah, to move up to uh, hacking position. And now what we're going to do is this. We're going to ensure, because this was the last bug, very likely. We're going to ensure that we fail this hack to summon reinforcements. And when the fuckwits arrive, we're going to destroy them. You're a lot bolder than I imagined. Sweet mother of fuck, what the fuck happened? Oh, it's just reinforcements, right? It's just yeah, normal, right? Nothing, nothing out of ordinary. Right Let me take a look. If she can reach the following position next turn, yes. So, I want you to go right on Overwatch. Out. I want you to, ch I mean, yeah, like this is good. Got it. So now what I, the reason we're doing this is, this is one reason, you know, to get more experience. You head. already know, baby. We want to get as many kills as possible. It's going to be super good for us. And because we have uh, almost complete control over the situation, we can't afford a little risk, right? Obviously, it's like you would avoid it if you weren't sure or if we like weren't as successful with our roles, like right now, right? But I think it's an acceptable oh, risk for us to take. This is why I'm going for this. Nice! This is why we put here on Overwatch. Another attempt, another shot at killing the enemy right away. And this was, you know, amazing. So there you go. What we're going to do now is we're going to move Malika back. And she has the most important part, uh, most important job of actually defusing the transmitter. And once she does... I mean, destroying it. Sort of. Nice. Finally. <laughs> now we have the to destroy all of them. We killed everyone else. We killed everyone else. We just have these guys to deal with. Yes, and what we're going to do is... Sheesh. What's the best way to do this, actually? Huh. We, can, we don't have to conserve our ammunition now. We can actually be as brazen as we like uh, with our tools and our inventory. Come with me. So... This guy is dead to Nexi. That's a hundred percent. Yeah, that's a hundred percent chance. There's no, there's no situation when it doesn't develop in the following fashion, right? So, what we want to do is we want to try to play with our food a little bit, try to see if we can get a couple of easy kills here. And if we cannot, what we're going to do is we're going to throw a flashbang grenade on him. And the reason we do it is like, you know, to make sure that there is. We don't have to do that. We want to make sure that there's no world where it goes wrong for us. Playing it slow, playing it steady, we're good to go. And now we send Do to just liquidate this fucker. We don't actually have to use cover because we have the party skill, the but we can. When you play with a Templar, a lot of good ways you can uh, operate. What's up, Neron? Welcome to the sim. <laughs> and all of you can also say hello uh, while I'm recording those, if you just catch it on the right time. All of those will be recorded live. So none of you can be like, oh man, your safe's coming. Yeah, you can go and, you know, watch me. Oh, righteous one. <laughs> I must certainly do not. Uh, can we actually blow up the cover behind the thing? We could, but... We could, but there are scenarios in which we do not hit the, targs, uh, the target. So, I would really like her You're to get a point. kill. I would really like Nero to get a kill. And, uh, yeah, okay, the, the uh, next one is our ticket. I could have swore it connected. It's alright. So, we fin finalized the kill. We intentionally summoned reinforcements to make sure that we get this extra experience and shit. And there you go, baby. That's how you do it. Honestly, this mission went really well for us. Even though we didn't have a ranger, we had a Templar. And Templar is essentially the next best thing. Um, after the ranger to break the enemy fortified positions nine kills nobody wounded it's a stark contrast to the first mission that we did right the locked one vanguard what the fuck happened here what take a look at this shit take a lot of this guy right nine minutes left what the fuck there you go the game died and this is why i don't this is why I don't actually play on the Iron Man setting. I just do not save scum. Because this ends up happening. This ends up happening every time. Every fucking time. 
I manually closed the game. I just you open it. But there's essentially no reason for you for, for me to keep recording this. So I'm just gonna stop right now. Thank you so much for watching and listening. When we come back, we're going to continue this let's play, continue with the next mission, see what else is happening and stuff. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Two important things. Uh, if you want to be part of this uh, playthrough, you want to leave a comment on a YouTube video. You want to leave all your preferences, if you like, your hair color, your eye color, if necessary, right? If you like, or the class you would like to play. If those are possible to implement, I will do so. If not, I will make you a random rookie, right? Um, and another thing is, if you want to say hello on one of these live shows, just spy with your little eye. You can follow my Twitter, uh, uh, Twitter uh, account to see what I... Um, um, notify the followers of my streams and you can just come and say hello and just come and fucking shit post because the, right now there's complete anarchy in the in the twitch chat and it's kind of actually really fun <laughs> keeping me company here so once again thank you so much for watching and listening leave a comment if you would like uh, to be a part of this uh, put a like or dislike tell me why and I'll see you next time bye bye boop